The cheapest electric car in Australia is, it's very comparable to the Toyota Corolla. It actually has more standard features than the Corolla has standard, but it's cheaper than the cheapest Toyota Corolla. Meaning, well, for the first time in Australian history, an electric car is cheaper than the cheapest Corolla anywhere that you can find in Australia. I've just looked up these numbers and it's absolutely true as of this moment in time. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. If you want a Toyota Corolla, I don't understand why you would because it has a minuscule boot. It's 280 liter boot. It's really a, a very antiquated car. It doesn't really have much modern technology. Yeah, okay, it, it's all right, it's not bad. I mean, they're considered to be reliable. Most people say they are, whether or not that's true, I don't know. But to be honest, in my opinion, if you look at the um, lifetime of a gasoline powered car, of an internal combustion, petrol, diesel powered car, on average, the, glo the global average, or the average in the United States anyway, it's about 160,000 miles. But if you look at the average people are getting out of a Tesla Model 3, well, heaps of them have done more than more than 300,000 miles. That's very, very interesting to see that now electric cars are lasting significantly longer than internal combustion powered vehicles. And even at that point where they've done more than 300,000 miles of range, on average, they have only 10% battery degradation. Now you can't say the same for an engine in any vehicle. Right now, you can buy a Great Wall Motors Aura electric car. I've seen them in person. They're very good. People try and trash them because they don't like Chinese brands or whatever, but I don't agree. I think it's a really good car. And the standard specification, the features you get on the cheapest version of the Great Wall Motors Aura are better than what you get on the cheapest version of the Toyota Corolla. The cheapest Toyota Corolla you can buy anywhere here in Australia, period, it's $36,300 drive away. That's Australian dollars. So that's about you know, 22, 23,000 US dollars. The cheapest Great Wall Motors or a good cat you can buy, well, you can buy heaps of them. They're at dealerships all over Australia and they cost 36 or 35,990 drive away, meaning $300 less for a better equipped fully electric car, which is almost identical in size. So for the first time in Australian history, an electric car is basically cheaper than a comparable internal combustion car. Now, that's not really fair because the you know, obviously the ownership costs of having an EV are way lower than the ownership costs of having a gasoline or petrol powered car uh, in many ways. You don't have to pay for brake pads, right? They have regen braking. Um, in many ways, in terms of the longevity of the vehicle, obviously you don't have to pay for fuel. You're, if you just plug in at home, it's so, so cheap. I found this personally. I saved an immense amount of money having an EV. An EV. So the Great Wall Motors Aura, should you buy one? Well, the thing is, it's a really tough question because now you have the MG4 at a drive away price of $39.90. You have the BOD Dolphin at a similar price, drive away, about the same. And you have the Aura Good Cat at a price of $35.990, which is obviously $4,000 cheaper than the MG4 and the BOD Dolphin. But the BOD Dolphin and the MG4 are probably better cars. Well, then it probably, they are better cars. The question is, do you want to pay 10% more for them? Well, some people won't. Some people are going to like the look of the the Aura Cat. To be honest, the Aura car, I think it's just, it's very cute. When you see them in person, you think that's a really cute looking car. And I think that will appeal to a lot of people. The Great Wall Motors Aura standard range vehicle, that's the cheapest version. It has 126 kilowatt and 250 new meters of torque. It'll do zero to 100 kilometers an hour in about eight seconds. But it feels faster than that because you have instant acceleration. So that torque, it's not like an internal combustion car. You feel that the torque is always there. It's instant. So I think if you equate 250 newton meters of torque in an EV, it's closer to having about 350 in an internal combustion car. That's definitely from my experience. From driving a fair few different EVs, from driving turbocharged cars, uh, you're always getting in that little bit of lag. So EVs always feel faster. The cheapest version has a 48 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery. That's a that, that's going to give it around about just over 300 kilometers of range. But if you pay a bit more, you can get the extended range. That, that model is actually only $5,000 more. So for $41,000 drive away, which is actually the equivalent of about $38,000 because um, it's included as a drive away deal at the moment. And apparently it's going to be the standard price. 
For $41,000 drive away, you're gonna get a big battery pack. It's a 63 kilowatt hour nickel manganese cobalt battery, about the same size battery as what is in a Tesla Model 3. And that's gonna give you a range of 420 kilometers. I don't think they're exaggerating either. I think you're gonna get a real world range of around 400 kilometers from a car with that size battery. It's not very heavy, this car either. Now, if you want a few luxury features, you get the Aura Ultra, it's 43,990. If you want the Aura GT, which has more power, it's 46,990. So Aura has decreased prices on average for these vehicles by about between six to $8,000. That's a massive discount. And honestly, if someone were to criticize you for buying this car at this price, I think that would be absolutely insane. It's such a good deal. It's an unbelievably good deal. I mean, realistically, you're looking at an EV for about, you know, what, 21,000 US dollars before taxes, before drive away fee, you know, fees and stuff are applied to it. But $21,000 for an EV is actually pretty good. This is not some piece of junk EV. There's many of those in China. This is not one of them. So what about charging speed? How fast can it charge? Well, Great Wall, they say that the standard range bottle, the smaller battery pack, will charge from 10 to 80% in 41 minutes. How big is it? Similar size to a crawler. It's 4.2 meters long, 1.8 meters wide. Boot space is relatively small, 230 liters. When it comes to warranty, it's got a pretty good warranty. It's got a seven year unlimited kilometer warranty, which actually might be the best warranty I know of any EV you can buy. Obviously the battery is covered for eight years, but I think generally the batteries you'll find will outlive the life of the car. That's usually the case with electric cars these days. But there's a few differences between the models. If you want to get the Ultra model, so that's the more expensive model, that comes with an electric tailgate, a panoramic sunroof, a heated steering wheel, six-way powered driver's seat with memory, heated, ventilated, and massaging front seats, power folding mirrors with memory. If you want to get the GT version, the most expensive version, that one has unique 18-inch alloy wheels, unique bumpers and grille, powered hands-free tailgate, panoramic sunroof, red brake calipers, driver's seat memory, heated steering wheel, and automatic parking. Colors, you can get green, blue, red, black, and white. Now keep in mind that the major difference between these models is not power. They all have the same motor. It's all 125 kilowatt, 250 newton meters of torque. The difference is battery packs. The cheapest version has the lithium ion phosphate battery pack. The other three versions have the bigger battery and they have more luxury features, so to speak. Anyhow, the point is this. I think all these models, whichever one you get, is a better car than a Toyota Corolla. It will last longer. Well, I can't guarantee, but it's most likely. And here's the key point. EVs are now cheaper than they've ever been. The BYD Dolphin, the MG4, and the Aura Good Catch show that there's a price war going on in not just China, but also Australia. In fact, the nine most popular electric cars have all had their prices reduced pretty significantly over the past 12 months. And what that means is we're going to see continued discounting on EVs. We're going to see new models coming in with more range. And I, I think probably that will mean a big increase in EV sales here in Australia. Thank you for watching.